It's me, Matthew. Of course, of course. And in this video, I'm playing one of the most relaxing games I've ever played. Um, it's a very, very simplistic game called... I don't know how to pronounce it. I've never heard it pronounced. It could be Cassie. It could be uh, Kasi. It could be Kasai. It could be all sorts of different pronunciations. Uh, if you know the proper, you know, phonetics, you can put them in the comments down below. Um, but this is one of my favorite ones that I've made. I don't have that many saved. I have this one, which I kind of got bored with and just kind of try to make it as tall as possible. That one and this one, which was testing out the new pine trees and just kind of messing around as you do. I've got a lot more than the ones that I show, but I am going to make a new one for this video. And that is an interesting rock right there. But the way that this starts is you're just a seed at the beginning, and you get to decide where you grow, and how you grow. And you have to pay attention to your water meter, your light meter, and your energy meter, and eventually pollen, fertilization, I think those are the only other two at the moment. For this, I'm actually going to try to make multiple trees at the same time. Water level is a bit crappy at the moment. There we go. That's better. Maybe because, yeah, sun's going down. The light turns the water into energy, and energy allows you to create more leaves and shoots and all of that. And the more, I guess the longer you're at maximum energy, the larger the plant can grow. And you can break the stars, explode them to make the trees, your plants, get more light and, in a way, grow faster. And to make a pine tree, you can pine two roots, but I have to uh, get my tree to grow quite a bit more before I can make a pine tree. Or I could maybe do this a single little pine popping up. You have little bird visitors that don't really do anything, but you can accidentally scare them or purposely scare them by moving your mouse cursor near them. And try to get some more water. I don't want that to lower too fast. There we go, now it's increasing. Might be because the sun is setting. One neat thing you can do, which is how I got the white leaves, is overlapping two leaves, and it makes new leaves, which absorb energy from the moon, which, you know, they... I'm not exactly sure which one's going faster in this, in this game, but definitely, um, they're definitely going at different speeds. And the moon will different, have different phases. There can be solar eclipse, uh, a solar eclipse and a lunar eclipse, which 
I should think is resulting in like a blood red sky, but I'm not entirely sure if that's like a blood moon or I don't really know. Not everything is spelled out, but it's pretty simple. Yeah, I'll let it uh, absorb more light before I can start growing the pine tree. Converting all of this to moon leaves. Not a good idea. Scaring away all of the wildlife, unfortunately. And with the leaves, you can try all sorts of different orientations. That black circle means that I can grow it more. You can only have four nodes um, per, I guess, or four branches per node. Um, so this is one, and then I can have three leaves. But those also have black circles, which means I can expand those. And I can expand these, which is what I think I can do. This kind of make two leaves per node. Like that. Still can't expand the pine tree yet. Eventually. Pop more stars to get more energy. Try to force it to the next stage. can be hard to hit sometimes. Looks like some of those can expand. What about this one? Nope, not yet. Oops. Sure, yeah, I'll do that. Just bring quite a bit of energy at this point. Although the sun was kind of blocked. Still waiting on the pine needle. I think I forgot. Um, I forgot how many more branches pine nodes can have. But it looks like it's five instead of four. I don't know all the ins and outs of this game, but you don't really need to, to enjoy it. It's super cheap on Steam, it's like five dollars, which is why I decided to pick it up. It looked like it would be a fun game, right up my alley of my interests. Hard to say no. Um, I'm gonna cut this down a bit because it's getting a bit too cluttered for my tastes. Check on the pine needles. Still can. Alright. One thing I can do. Just make sure that I have a decent amount of leaves absorbing energy. I don't want to blur them too much, but Make sure that I am getting a lot out of it. It's 
it's really difficult to grow from the roots. Sometimes it doesn't have any problems, but other times I notice that I just can't for some reason. Very cluttered. I need. Maybe I need to build it up to 400 and then it'll let me. Nope. I'm just gonna give it some time. It's gotta let me eventually, right? There we go. Once it starts, it can get going pretty quickly. It looks like I can have six. Oh, and I was able to make a flower. And that will slowly increase pollination. And pollination allows me to make fruits which can eventually lead to fertilization by feeding this little spider creature that comes and eats the food. And then, well, for lack of a better term, he poops it out. I do keep muting myself. That's not annoying or noticeable. Pine trees seem to grow the quickest. Even though in real life I don't think they grow that quick, but it's mostly because pines are just so cheap for a plant to make. Look at how quick this is growing. It's ridiculous. It's already got some flowers. Which instead of flowers, or instead of fruit, uh, I believe pine trees drip sap for the spider. That's gonna have two branches per... If it gets any more than that, then I can get really cluttered. to make. Well, that's one of the sap dripping things. I don't know if that'll work yet, but I guess we'll find out now, won't we? I kind of reduce the main plants and just kind of focus on... Oh yeah, if you connect two flowers you can make a time lever thingy. 
To make a flower it has to be a certain size node. And that maybe there's other criteria to meet. I'm not entirely sure what that criteria is though. Kind of a very basic plants. Mm. Well, you can also make vines, which can go on forever, and then on top of that, um, the vine leaves follow the sun, and if you double down on them, it turns into a balloon. Oops. And then I can just float. They have a certain amount of strength to them. I can't say it looks all that good, but... It's a thing that happens. The vines are a little weird. Can't say I'm a fan, but... Alright, got some flowers here. That's a weird place for flowers. I oh, didn't mean to do that. Where'd those flowers go? Did they fall off or did I mess with them? I have no idea what happened to those flowers. It's a bit too many branches. I think three is all right there. Um, let's continue this. One thing I could do is just kind of make it have more of a shape to it, actually. Kind of like a juniper, which I don't know if junipers are pines or not, but I know that they have like this weird sway to them that I really like. I'm not exactly sure how to portray that here. Just have a bunch of it's very weird, almost nonsensical how some leaves or some pines well yeah both work in this scenario. We'll just decide they want to grow a lot farther than the others. This one doesn't make too much sense, but nah, it's fine. Nature doesn't make too much sense. Oh, that finally looks like it turned to wood. Oh, I know, it was just the blood moon or whatever. Oops. 
Oops, didn't mean to do that. That's not what I wanted to do. Um, I want to try to keep it to one off each joint. a tiny bit of resin and a little spider buddy over here is gonna come over eat it and fertilize the plant This one can grow more, it looks like it did. Oh my goodness. works. I guess it's constantly using the pollination to produce. Okay, that makes sense. Hoping to see if I can make some more flowers, but it doesn't look like it. Wonder how big the leaves can get. Some of these don't curve as much as they could. That looks better. Not bad. Nope. Well, that looks weird. See any options to make more pine flowers, which kind of sucks. This one is pretty weird down here. I don't know what's going on. In... That's better, but I don't really want to do that right now. the color of it. 
which hopefully at some point we'll be able to produce more flowers. should probably do is keep a lot of these needles. It's really hard to make just the needles though. needles are a bit too big. Um, and there's another flower. Beautiful. Hopefully I get some more of those. I didn't need to do that. Another flower. some more needles down here. Just to add some greenery and some filler. It looks a little odd. I'm not a huge fan of what I've been doing, but it works. Looks like I can use more of a root system. Not bad. I don't know if those the uh those flowers eventually just pop off or what happened to them last time. I think that's not bad for oh, more food for a 30 minute video. We got a weird thing going on here. Not sure how much I like it, not sure how much I hate it, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it relaxing. And if you play this game, what's your favorite style of tree? What's your favorite option out of, you know, the normal leaves, the moon leaves, or the pine leaves? Do you like to make small plants? Do you like to make the largest ones you can? Do you like to make weird balloon vine creations? Let me know in the comment section down below, and I will see you in the next one.
Bye-bye.